you know, Texas motion. A request is being made for this hedge fund to uh, intervene in an action in which it has not uh, has no legal standing in Wisconsin. Filed oh, by that parties party list there. <laughs> who does not indicate any of, that he's licensed in the state of Wisconsin. Seriously, who's in, who's not named in the, as a party there? There's got to be one of us Peter's in there at least. Drawn, so it doesn't have any sponsorship by any licensed attorney in this state. So I'm going to uh, throw it out. Toss it. Toss it. Do it, Schrader. I'm going to uh, order that the bond be distributed in accordance with the stipulation, which is done. Thank you. Anything else? There you go. The right answer. He often gets there. He just doesn't give you a lot of belief that he will. (laughs) That's true. (laughs) The struggle is so real. It'd be funny to see him try and appeal his non-recognition of their standard. (laughs) (laughs) So people are asking if Kyle wins. I mean, we have no idea what the, uh, what the cost of defense was for Kyle Rittenhouse, but basically $975,000 in the interest or to the for the benefit of Kyle Rittenhouse is being returned to yes. Mark Richards's law firm's oh, okay. trust account. We'll probably get like half. Okay, of it. so there we go. That's that's that. now that's the screenshot right there. That's beautiful. <laughs> that is beautiful. Yeah, lawyers cost a lot of money, and for a trial like that, a lot, a lot of money. Uh, yeah, so his, who knows? His defense could have cost in excess of that. It also could have cost substantially less. If they came to some sort of flat fee agreement or sure. who knows, because, you know, uh, there's there's publicity interests and stuff like that, that they could they could say uh, they could could have doubted their ability to collect more than what they collected. You know, who knows what what it is. But long story short, I'll bring up the order again or the, the stipulated agreement, because this is this is what the judge just ordered to happen. And I think this is the right decision because that. Other company had no uh, interest in this at all. And in a motion that doesn't exist from attorneys that were going to do. So stipulated and agreed upon the November 19, 2021 motion to hold bond or release to trust account filed on behalf of Kyle H. Rittenhouse. In November 19, 2021, bond allocation motion filed on behalf of non-party Fight Back Foundation. Kenosha County Clerk shall disperse the $2 million in proceeds in this matter on or about November 20. Uh, but of course, it that was, uh, oh, wait, in the matter, the matter was dated this time in accordance with the following allocations. So 150,000 to Ricky Schroeder. That was the famous guy. He donated like 300 grand, right? Ricky Schroeder. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. he was like, from Silver, from Silver is that Spoons. literally the Silver Spoons guy? Yeah, it is. Yeah. He, he was a big fan. Of, he was a big fan of Kyle. Yeah. And he, it was like the public, it was like, this got us over the $2 million hurdle basically. So they're giving 150 grand to him, care of fight back attention Lynn Wood. Then uh Richards's law firm is going to hold this nine hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars in trust. And then fight back care of Lynn Wood is going to hold this nine hundred and twenty-five or they they get to do whatever they want with that nine hundred and twenty-five thousand. Yeah, 